Hi there, I'm John Weber with TechNection in the US, and today I'm going to talk to you about loading software onto the PicoPi IMX 8M development kit from TechNection. In another video, we showed you how to actually assemble this kit onto the carrier and everything that we have that comes in the box from TechNection. What I'm going to show you today is how to load software on the kit using the Rescue Loader. The Rescue Loader is a special software image that we load onto the SOM before it leaves the factory that allows you to very easily load software from our servers straight over the network onto the SOM. And so today I'm going to show you how to do that. In order to do that, the first thing you need is you need to be able to power the product, which we send you a USB type C cable to be able to do that. And then you also need to be able to connect this uh, to the internet through uh, an ethernet cable through this ethernet connector right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I have my ethernet cable here and I have my USB type C cable here. So I connect the network and I'll connect power. Power is over here in the USB type C. I'm going to go ahead and power that up. Okay, so now we have our PicoPi IMX 8M kit powered up and connected to the network and it's already booted. It doesn't take very long to do this. And what you're seeing right here is the user interface for our rescue loader. And the first thing that happens is is you can see what images you have available to load onto it. So we're seeing that we have an Android image you can load onto it. You have a Yocto Linux image you can load onto it. We also have, this is our logo for the rescue installer. So you can reflash a new rescue installer onto the image if you, if you choose. And then over here, we're showing a new one that we have, which is a boot to QT image. And what this allows you to do is uh, the boot to QT image is a specialized Linux distribution that powers up and runs uh, QT in the background very, very, very quickly to be able to deploy uh, QT applications to the product uh, using the, the QT creator. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the process of loading the kit. And I'm gonna go ahead and touch, because I wanna load boot to QT, I'm gonna go ahead and touch the QT logo. So what you see right here is you see the board that you can load onto, which it detected that this is a Pi baseboard. Okay. And then we have a MIPI DSI display interface, which it detected. And we're gonna load it onto the EMMC, which in some boards you have both EMMC and SD cards. So in this case, we just have EMMC. And then you can just set, uh, after you have all these selections, you can hit program me and what program me will do after you're done is it will go ahead and download the image and install it for you. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So you can see the progress bar here. Uh, it initially downloads the image. Um, so it'll download the image completely and then it'll go through the process of installing the image. Okay, so now the install has completed and you can, uh, we didn't, in, in this case, it, there's some instructions here to set your board back to um, boot mode. Um, in this case, we didn't have to do any boot mode selections. So we just leave it the way it was. Um, it will go ahead and boot straight from the MMC after we're done. And so we just have to click the reboot button. And once we're rebooted the board, it should just power up and present us uh, the boot to QT uh, GUI. Now, boot to QT will automatically put it in landscape mode, so we'll have to turn the, the kit here to show you that. But I'll go ahead and click the reboot button. Here we go. So you can see my four Linux penguins and the QT launcher and super fast booting uh, for boot to QT. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this a little bit to show you this. 
And then you can go ahead and start some of the demo applications here for Boot to QT. So we have that one. Uh, we have this one, little grapher application gallery. So very, very nice GUI here. We can go ahead and start this one, the e-bike demo. Various things that we can do here as far as navigation is concerned. So again, very cool application for Boot to QT. So we can go ahead and close out of this one. So one of the things to, to note is if you have a voice hat from TechNection, um, and your kit could come with a voice hat if you configured it to, uh, you would want to load this on after you've loaded the image because uh, sometimes you may need to actually change the boot mode jumpers. And it's very difficult to do that if you've got this, if you got the voice hat connected on top of it. So, um, so the voice hat, you can see the connections on the bottom here. This connects to this particular connector. This uh, 40 pin connector connects to that one. It plugs straight down onto the board uh, and uh, you should be able to do that with no problems after you've loaded the demo image up. So, uh, so just a piece of advice um, from, from me on that. So I hope this was useful for you, for you on learning how to load software onto our development kits uh, straight out of the box. Um, for more information and for learning about upcoming products and more technical training from TechNection, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, I hope this has been very valuable to you.